what is up guys so this here is the Delaney Park strip <clears throat> and there's a plaque commemorating Pope John Paul II uh, when he visited Anchorage in February 26 1981 uh, if we go to the other side of this little plaza here on the park strip you have this plaque and this plaque says on February 26 1981 this is explains it more it says that Pope John Paul made a three hour and 40 minute visit to Anchorage en route from Japan to the Vatican 65,000 people in 29 degree temperature joined him here on Delaney Park strip in the celebration of the Eucharistic liturgy the gathering mostly Alaskans uh, represented many faiths many cultures in many parts of the world um, many parts of the United States which prompted these words from the Holy Father and then it says about him uh, about Pope John Paul saying as I look over this gathering I see the evidence of the Holy Spirit's call and faith in Alaska here many people with diverse backgrounds and cultures drawn in one community faith and he pointed out different native groups like the well he his language he uses outdated we would say uh, Inupiaqs and Yupiks Unangans and Tsugpiaqs uh, and Athabascans joined together with people from all parts of the United States to form the one celestial community. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and actually, if we go a little farther up here on the park strip, I'll show you something that's hella dope. Um, so yeah. See, this is a bike route. This is a bike route. You got some birch trees here. And then I'll show you the next big landmark on the park strip. I think there might be a sign right here. I don't know what these signs say, but this could be the sign I want to show you. But there's another, if not, there's another sign that will show, that will say what I want to show you. Um, let's see. There's your handicap parking right here. There's your towing rule, parking rules. I don't drive, so those don't apply to me. On the other side, you have um, your hotels. That's downtown. I'm not sure what hotel that is. Not, I don't think it's the Red Line. It's not the Ramada. Ramada's that away. Might be extended stay. I, I don't. There's a, good, there's a tree that got chopped down. Here's our rugby field um, that we have here in town. And all the rugby players come out to this field. And there you go. That's our rugby field. But I do want to show you something up here. And. And it's something cool. Something really cool. So I will show you that cool thing. See, there's our rugby fields. And we got benches all along. I think that's a, like a World War II memorial over there. We'll show you that a little bit later if we have time um and you guys are seeing the town side because the side opposite from town the side that's next to the lagoon uh is a residential area and you know for the privacy of the residents i'm not showing you that side but this is our like local park here we have in town called the Delaney Park Strip. And here's the sign I wanted to show you because it's relevant. It's relevant, relevant. Okay. And I'm going to spin you around to the other side. There's the Baptist Church downtown, 
and whose law firm? Burr, Pease, and Kurtz. So actually, this is my grandpa's law firm. They adopted uh, 9th Ave and 10th Ave, and I'm related to the Pease side of it. Um, so if your last name is Quinone, Ponce de Leon, Pacheco, Lope, or Pease, or uh, Vaque, and you live in Alaska, or Fernande, and you live in Alaska, uh, your, your cousin, or your grandpa, or your dad, uh, Ted Pease Jr., his law firm, adopted 9th Ave and 10th Ave by the Park Strip. So there you go, I think that's pretty cool. So, and then we got all kinds of cool flowers, but I'm just gonna show you that there. Again, I carry on the legacy of Ted Pease Jr. as his grandson, and uh, you know, we adopted 9th Ave and 10th Ave. So there you go, there you go. This is 9th Ave, I, I'm carrying on that legacy as the heir of Ted Pease Jr. So there you go.